Hey guys, it's Mr. Crayfish and welcome back to Expanding My Town. Boy, that intro was fleeky. Now, if you didn't catch the last episode, we expanded this part of my town here. We added in this brand new dirt road and this is cool because it allows us to have more options, you know, of where we can actually drive around our town here. And it's, it's got a nice view as well. It's right next to the river. But today, we are going to be doing something a little bit different. So I'm going to be building this RV, but not only building it, I'm going to be showing you guys step by step how to actually build it. And I thought this would be a really cool thing for the series, you know, is to show you guys how to build stuff at the same time. But we're also going to be working on other parts of the town as well. So if you guys are excited for today's episode, I'd appreciate if you go ahead, drop a like down below. And as well, if you want to keep up to date with this series and all my other videos go ahead subscribe and turn on the bell notifications you know what to do it's 20 it's youtube 2019 do it all right but let's get into this right near all right all right all right let's kick things off right now now i do apologize in advance if you can hear rain outside it is currently raining where I am, so I apologize if you can hear it. Should be my microphone should be good enough that it doesn't actually pick it up. But before we do start, I want to show you guys this. Have a look at this. So at the start of the uh, dirt road here, the off-road section in my map that we built in the last episode, I've now actually added in these gates at the front here because I wanted wanted it to feel like an abandoned road that it's unmaintained and that you shouldn't be driving on this so we have a gate here stopping people <laughs> in quotes there because as you can see this gate is actually open and still does allow us access to get us through but how cool does this look it's very simple all it's using is the op oak up upgraded fence from my furniture mod and then we have the oak fence gate which is normally in uh, vanilla Minecraft and same applies to the other side as well we do we have exactly the same type of fence over here it's open so we can actually drive through it but I don't think you're gonna be able to fit any sort of big vehicles through here only small vehicles will actually fit here but the first thing that we are going to be doing today is we are going to be building that RV that I mentioned you know that spicy RV camper I thought this would be really cool for this series to actually, you know, every episode teach you guys how to actually build something instead of just seeing me, you know, build and expand my town. Actually give you guys some really cool information and turn these videos into a slight building tutorial just to make them, you know, a little bit more fancy. But not only that, um, over here at the soccer pitch, what I want to do is experiment with this tree over here. So this is actually a tree. Um, which uses a custom model from the uh, item bound resource pack so this here is actually a model so if we actually just drop that as you can see those are the leaves so what I want to do is actually replace all the leaves around the soccer pitch here with those leaves and then the last thing I want to do and hopefully we can get around to it in today's episode usually I spend quite some time doing all my building is cleaning up this area here because as you can see it is quite neglected there's just I don't know it's <laughs> it wasn't ever supposed to be this this is kind of like an unprocessed area of my map when I was actually building the river I forgot to you know finish this area off so we're gonna hopefully fix this finish that off into the, at the end of today's episode but let's go ahead, let's get straight into this. We're going to go ahead and build the RV. So I actually wanted it to be on this kind of corner area where we built last time. And I'm actually going to take away some of the land here because um, this RV is, it's, it's not big, but it's not small. So we might need a little bit of extra room just so I can actually still use this road if I really wanted to. I just kind of need to take it back a little bit here. So honestly, let me just go ahead, take take a couple of these blocks back here. All right, so we're ready to build this right now. And the main, the main kind of materials we are going to need is you're gonna need some black concrete, some block of quartz, quartz slabs, a piece of concrete of your choice. Now I'm just using red, but you can choose any color that you want. This is personally up to you. Uh, you're going to need a stone button, some iron trap doors, and some white stained glass panes. Alright, let's go ahead. 
let's get this started right now. So I'm just going to clear, kind of like clear out this area a little bit here. But um, this is a really kind of simple and a cute looking RV. Now it's not like, you know, proportioned correctly. It's supposed to be kind of like this little fat RV that somebody's just parked around here. So we're going to place two blocks down like that. We're going to leave a four block gap, place one like that. We're going to leave three blocks and then just do the other side like that. So this is going to be the back wheels. And then these are going to be the front here. And that definitely looks like enough space uh, to build this. Uh, we're going to pop buttons on the outside like that. Uh, we can't do it there, but we can just pop it over there. It's kind of implied that it would technically be there. We're going to get our block of quartz. And then just place that along there like that. And then we'll stop one after the wheels. Pretty simple so far. I have actually, I, had, I used to do building tutorials back in the, or I, I still kind of do building tutorials, but not really as often. My channel is kind of mainly focused around um, doing a lot of mods, but I kind of wanted to do something a little bit more chilled out. Do, so, do a series like this where I can actually build and, you know, have a relaxing time because I find building in Minecraft to be quite therapeutic. Um, you know, just placing block by block, building something that you're kind of proud of and I, I love my world because this is just it means so much to me I have so much fun in here and yeah being able to do this is awesome so I just placed down like these iron trap doors under here so you kind of have to like um, do them carefully so you just kind of have to place them on the top half like that should be pretty simple um, so far we're gonna have a block of quartz joining over like that we're going to start raising it at this point here so go across like this and then do that on the other side as well. Now we need to, we do need to allow space for a door on the other side. So the door is going to go right here. We're going to get rid of that. We'll add the uh, details later on. I also forgot you need to grab out some quartz stairs. So at the back here, we're going to go ahead, place that across like this. And then on top of those stairs, place the block of quartz like that. Looking pretty good so far. We're going to get our concrete now and we're going to place it here, one there, leave three blocks and then place two there. Do exactly the same on the other side, so two there. But because there's no door here, we can actually just place three like that. Then on top here, we're going to have quartz going along until we get to the red block at the back there. One before the red block and place a stair. Do that again. And then at the front here, it's going to be a little bit different. So we're going to place a stair down either side like that. Have slab in front there that goes across. And then actually not in the middle there. We're going to place um, stairs in the middle there. And then we're going to fill in... Well, actually, we're going to fill in that part there with blocks. And then we're going to go ahead and grab quartz slabs. Actually, we could replace those with some slabs there. Um, quartz slabs across there and then one above that place the slabs going all the way to the back, fill this in. And then I think it's just, oh, I think it's about there. Yeah, we just have stairs coming across now. And then what you want to do is fill in the holes here with your glass panes. Pretty simple so far. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I don't know how to feel about this. Like, it's not usually something. I don't know. I'm trying to get used to doing building tutorials and, you know, trying to commentate at the same time. And so far, this thing's looking good. This thing's looking really cute. So it's supposed to have like a really kind of cute look to it. It's not supposed to be um, like a, a well proportioned um, look, looking RV van. Uh, if you really wanted to, you could make this like a little bit skinny if you wanted to make it look a little bit more p proportioned. Uh, let's go ahead and place stairs here and then stairs down on the ground. And that is kind of our little uh, thing to get up here. It's kind of like, it's looking like a little bit of like a full drive RV van because um, it's kind of raised off the ground quite a bit. Let's go inside here and let's just fill this in. So fill it in with um, quartz slabs or you can do it with kind of any block that you like. It's really up to you at this point because this is more like the interior that you're not going to see um, from the outside and uh, now the front here is a little bit different. We're going to place quartz at um, Down there quartz in the middle and then we're simply going to place Two quartz there and then stairs on top now This is normally like the the front bit where the driver and 
the passenger would be, but I'm not really doing any detail here at all. I think it looks fine um, as just like a basic seat to the front there and the steering wheel is just kind of implied. And I think we're pretty much done with the exterior of that. So it's a really simple build. Uh, we've built this pretty much in less than five minutes, to be honest. But now let's go ahead, let's head on to the detail now. And this is where it does get a little bit interesting. So let's start with the basic detail. Uh, I'm going to go ahead, grab out some item frames. And we're also going to grab out, um, I think we're going to grab out the white stained glass and then some red stained glass. So we're going to have some little lights at the front here. So place two item frames like that and then place the stained glass, white stained glass block in those frames and in the back here place two like that and then instead of the white place the red stained glass inside the item frame. So those are the headlights and the tail lights of this. Uh, we're going to go ahead and grab out some iron bars now and we're going to give this thing a little bit of a grill, make it look like it has like a bull bar or something at the front of this thing. And then we're going to go ahead and grab out a sign, give this a number plate. So this is kind of up to you. I want to say cray fish, but remove the vowels in it. And we'll do the same at the back here. Cryfish. <laughs> it says cryfish, but it's actually crayfish. Now, if you're not convinced that this doesn't look like an RV yet, well, we forgot the most important feature, and this is the awning. So let's go ahead. Let's grab out some carpet here. So you can do this kind of, you know, if you wanted to, you could match the color of the RV. However, I kind of like to do it a little bit different. I'm just going to go ahead, grab out the light gray carpet and some white carpet. You're also going to need to grab out some string as well. Uh, we're going to need some iron bars. And then I'm going to, I've got a little detail that I'll show you in a second here. Um, that does actually sell the idea that this really is an RV. So we're going to go ahead along here. We're going to place um, we're going to place string along here. So five five along a string, and then do that four more times, coming outwards, and then at the ends here we'll start. Whoopsie, we'll start. Ooh, that was that wasn't enough. Whoops. It should be five wide by four long. So let's go ahead and place grey wool coming out like that and then the white, grey and then I like to do stripes because it kind of sells that idea even more. And then at the corners here we're actually going to replace them with the iron bars. So place a stack of iron bars going up like that and then place the, uh, the wool on top or the carpet I should say. Right, it's getting there and then the next step is we can add some chairs under here So you can kind of do this however you like uh, But something simple you could do is we're gonna go ahead and go ahead get out some oak wood slabs Grab out some of this and this is kind of the design that I actually had already um, When I showed you at the start of this episode, so we're gonna create a little bit of a table and chairs here Do that pressure plate on top slabs on either side and then just Pop some signs at the end here to imply that they have kind of a backrest. And there you go, Bob's your uncle. We have some, we have some chairs. Now this next step is optional, and it's to make you kind of RV look a little bit more immersive. And personally, I think it looks amazing. So basically, what I'm going to be doing is adding some guide ropes to the awning here to make it look like it is actually tied down. So in case they're, you know there is any wind, it's not going to blow away. So I've actually got a command here. Now, I am using Minecraft 1.12, but if there's anybody in the comments that would like to convert this command to, you know, 1.13 or 1.14, um, you know, do it down below. I'll put the original command in the description below. Um, and then, yeah, if you convert to 1.14, let me know and I'll put it in the description uh, so other people can use it. So I'm gonna go ahead paste this command in here and basically what this does is it spawns in a a chicken but it, it's a silent chicken it has no AI it's invisible so let's go ahead let's spawn that in I just need to reduce this down by one boom there we go so you can't really see it right now but if we go ahead and we grab out a leash and then we as well grab out an oak fence I'm gonna place this down just there we can go ahead, click here. There we go. 
pop that onto the... F oh, come on. Come on. Hold on, let me try this again. Let me try this again. Let me try this again, hold up. It should work. <laughs> it sometimes glitches out. I don't know why it does this. Let's go ahead. Uh, <laughs> I'm not holding it. Um, hold on, let me try this again. Oh, here we go, here we go. There we go. Come on. I tested this before. I tested this before. It did work. For some reason, it just doesn't like... There we go. Ooh, look at that. That's secured now. Let's go ahead. Let's pop that onto the other side as well. So we're just going to go ahead, run that command again, but we need to just move it over to here. So change around the coordinates. Finally got that thing connected. That took a minute. I mean, that's probably how long it takes in real life to do it as well, because it's so annoying to put one of these things up. But there we go. This thing is now secured. This actually looks like somebody is camping here and something we could do as well just to make this you know look even more realistic is we could spawn a couple of villagers here imagine that a couple of villagers from their own village are coming to my town to actually you know hang out here <laughs> there we go <laughs> these villagers look at them hey you know this is illegal to you know this is illegal to camp here you know this is illegal to camp here how dare you camp on this abandoned road. It's closed for a reason. It's dangerous. They don't give two flips. They do not give two flips, guys. Uh, but there we go. Um, that is the RV. That looks amazing. That is That was meant to be there, guys. That was meant to be there. That's a, just a really cool addition. And I want to do more stuff like this because I find, you know, I don't really have any of these kind of cool things around my town. It's just like these kind of small scenarios where some villagers have just you know, set up their RV here. So I definitely want to do some more cool little things around my town in that style. But there you go. Hopefully you learned, learned how to build an RV today. And let me know if you did build it in the comment section below. But let's move on to some other things in this episode today. Let's move on to the next thing that I wanted to look at. And that was to kind of experiment with this tree over here. And this should be pretty simple to do because... Um, we just we just simply got to go ahead and copy. <laughs> just go ahead, middle click that, and now we've got the uh, the models here that we well the items te the technically items, and then we just need to get some item frames out. I think the hardest part is going to be removing all the leaves here, but I should be able to do it quite quickly. And I'm gonna try and keep like this original um, the original trunks there. Just I want to replace it, see what it looks like because I want to add some more color here. I feel like a lot of the stuff around my town here is actually green and it doesn't blend in well and I thought the red here would match the bleachers perfectly so let's go ahead uh, let's remove the leaves along here and then I'll get back to you crayfish 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 never use those red leaves again never use them all right let's move on let's move on from those Alright, so I decided to go for something a little bit different, and I actually haven't done anything like this before, but uh, it kind of actually works together. These kind of leaves kind of work together with the um, acacia wood. As long as I don't see the orange, it actually kind of looks good, because it looks a bit like a, a bit of a bluish tinge almost to it, which is kind of cool. It's bringing out a bluish, t a bluish tinge with it, but as you can see, the soccer park here is looking completely different now and it's cool from like an upscale view because it actually looks like a different part of the map you know over at the park here we've got those leaves at the soccer field we've got a bit more of a green leaf and then over here which hasn't been transformed but these are much brighter leaves over here so it's cool to actually make this area stand out a little bit more than blending in to the surroundings and that is pretty much it I also added this here so I didn't know exactly what to add along this path here but I think something as simple as the oak upgraded fence along here fits in perfectly and it's gonna stop me driving through here because oftentimes I would actually ride my vehicles through the soccer pitch here in order to get back home but now it's actually going to force me to either go through the abandoned road either through the park <laughs> either through the park path here or even go around on the road the the normal the normal way I mean <laughs> who wants to go that way it's most likely gonna be through the abandoned path 
or the park path now. Um, <laughs> all right, all right, all right. And yeah, I think we're going to be wrapping up this episode soon. I've actually been lucky enough to get everything in. Um, this wasn't supposed to be a super duper crazy episode transforming like a ton of the land around here. How you guys going? You guys had a good trip so far? All right, we are at the last part of today's episode. And the last thing I wanted to do was to uh, terraform this area here, actually make the river the correct height. As you can see, it just literally stops here. It's like a waterfall that goes into this, you know, it's it's just drained here. So let's fix this up. Let's smooth it out. Um, something I want to do keep in mind is I might actually make it a little bit of like a beach here. So if I wanted to, I could walk along the edge of the beach here next to the river and, you know, I could park my vehicle there if I really wanted to. Uh, if we go ahead and we just get a smooth brush here, we can just kind of like run that along the edge here. Kind of gives us a little bit of a a little bit of a start here. It's not like perfect yet. Um, oh, that's kind of actually, oh, um, yeah, you got to be really careful because sometimes you can do things like that. Let's go ahead, undo, undo two. There we go. Yeah, you kind of got to be really careful about that. You don't kind of run this brush on any of the structures around your land here. Um, and sometimes it does kind of give off this kind of algorithm feel as if you like look at this here like look at that kind of land there it doesn't feel natural in a way when you come over here and you have a look at what I pretty much did by hand over here like look how much different this is this was basically done by hand but then if we come over there that was done by you know just a, an algorithm it kind of made it look smoothed out so it honestly doesn't really look as good we might actually feel that in there Maybe we might reduce the size of the brush too, just so it doesn't do as a large area here. Uh, one thing I want to do is, let's go ahead, let's do brush, cylinder, air, two. Because I kind of want to lower this down a little bit here so we can actually create that beach. So the level of the, uh, of the water is here. So let's just keep that in mind when we're actually lowering this down here. So... Yeah, okay, cool. We can actually go down one more layer here. Oh, this is going to be cool. I'm, I'm looking forward to this. We don't even have, like, a beach near us, so this is going to be our replacement beach. We could actually make this a little bit bigger. That's not a bad idea. Let's make this whole entire area a beach around here. But now let's go ahead. Let's paste in the beach here. Well, let's basically add sand all around here. Make this quite a long beach. I want it to go like all the way down here. Uh, oh, uh, <laughs> well, we just discovered a cave. Oh, there we go. So I've uh, finished kind of the shape of the beach here and it's definitely good. And I actually did some of this by hand because I still find that, you know, I can use the brush there to make it smooth, but it just really doesn't have that proper kind of smooth look to it that I can honestly do better by hand and it honestly looks better by hand so like stuff like this like usually I would make that smooth that out um, like usually you do if you have like two I, I don't know how to explain my kind of smoothing technique but um, sometimes just you know the the algorithms just don't know what's going on here like here maybe I'd clean that up make that like that uh, over here this is kind of a little bit weird normally the brush wouldn't be able to fix that up but I would just do this by hand make that a little bit smooth there we could even add like a little inner section there just to kind of like smooth that out it was looking like that this needs some fixing up here now so let's go ahead and pop that there all right that looks pretty good but this is probably the funnest part of this O, oh, and that is uh, adding in the water now so we simply run a command called fill so we do fill water and then I think the radius let's do 10 and then the depth let's do 10 as well so run that ooh ooh that's been a that's been a that's been a minute before I've seen water here I have not seen water here for days let's go ahead and fill that all in hopefully there's no points here I think there's still kind of like non source blocks around here so it's kind of a little, little teeny inconvenience if we wanted to swim in this river uh, but if we go ahead and we keep doing this we should be able to fill this in eventually we probably could bop up the radius here so it can actually fill this in a lot quicker 
keep filling it. Now, this is the bit where it kind of gets a little bit awkward because it ends off in this kind of area here, which really isn't a river. We kind of have a tree in the water here. Let's go ahead, let's get rid of that. All right, tree is now gone. And this is something I wanted to kind of bring up real quickly because this river here, oh, hold up, hold up. Come back here, have a look at that. Yo. That is something that this map needed, is a beach that we can actually drive on. We definitely need something like this somewhere else around the map. Maybe we could like turn a couple of the areas near the water here to beaches. Maybe not this particular section, maybe like over here might be a cool area to put another one of these beaches. Maybe even, maybe even this area here, we'll see, we'll see. But what I wanted to do is come back here, admire this one more time, but I wanted to keep following the river here. Because if we actually keep, oh, 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 that's good, that's good, that is amazing. But if we keep following this river here, you'll see, if we keep, if we just, <laughs> I keep saying that. But if we keep following this, this actually eventually leads out to the ocean here. Have a look at that. So maybe in the next episode or something like that, we could actually finish this river off, make it actually come out to the ocean, and then we've actually got a way for shipment to actually come into my town this should be like you know the source of how i get all my supplies to the town is through the river here it's a very important part of my town so we could go ahead and do that in the next episode just ideas just ideas but i think it's it would be a really cool idea this beach is amazing i can actually walk down here and look there's already so many animals having fun here look at there's a chicken got a little cow over there They're having a bunch of fun here but that is going to end off today's episode of Expanding My Town. Hopefully you enjoyed, and if you haven't already, I'd appreciate if you go ahead, drop a like down below, and maybe consider subscribing if you want to keep up to date with this series. Also, let me know down in the comment section below if you love the idea that I teach you how to be build something in each episode, such as the RV behind me right now. I've also compiled the mods list as well, so if you guys are wondering what the mods were in the first episode, I've now updated them in this description and also in the first episode. So uh, download the mods and you can use exactly the same mods that I am using in this series. But thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye, 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 bye-bye.